Hello there and welcome back to Carl and Debbie Trains. We're here in the Cattington um, Railway again. Not quite for the usual Cattington update. This time I want to give you like a, a behind the scenes if you like. So I'm going to show you ever so briefly how I currently edit the videos for this. It's just a, a quick guide. So we're going to leave this room and go into the studio, otherwise known as my office. Me. Right, I'm now in my office. Um, I've just got a, a Windows PC and I'm going to show you how we're currently editing the Catalan videos. Now, this, this tutorial, if you like, isn't meant to be for people who are already editing. And if you're already editing, you've already got your software, you already know your routines, you, this video is not going to be useful to you. The, the market, if you like, for this is for people who are not editing at all and probably not uploading because of that. I just want to show you how simple it can be um, and we'll just take it step by step and just give you an outline of things you can do on a Windows PC. Um, yeah, let's see how we do. Okay, so let's start. So here um, I've got all my files for Cattington. These are all the videos I made for Cattington 50. And obviously I'll break things down into different folders. I've got my talks, what we've done in one folder, and the running session that I did in another. And you can see here I've already got a project file, but don't worry about that. I'm going to be using Windows Movie Maker. So if you right click on any of your uh, video files and do open with, you'll get a list of options. Hopefully, you'll find Movie Maker. Now, not all Windows PCs is going to have this. Movie Maker is kind of an old Windows tool. It's not always provided. Um, if you haven't got it and still want to do editing, don't worry, I will show an alternative version um, in a few weeks' time, as soon as I've learned how to use it myself. Um, but if you do have Movie Maker, here you'll be able to follow these steps here and just um, see how I do things. The other way to find out is um, if you just type it in your search bar at the bottom you should see it as Movie Maker. In fact that's the one I'll start up. Right this is a nice easy program to use really really good for a beginner. Um, the part you need to do so if you're uploading to YouTube there's a one-time option you're gonna have to do and that's going to project which is up here and just make sure you're on the widescreen mode because if you're on standard the width isn't as well it's not wide <laughs> so this is designed for like your older videos you would have done or TV shows but you're not you're doing it for YouTube I presume or even for your TVs downstairs whichever um, you have to make sure you've got widescreen selected the great thing is, I don't think you need to do that every time you load this. It will remember your changes. So, what we got. The main panel here in black is your video, and the main panel over here on the right hand side is where all your videos are. So, going back to my list of videos. Um, I don't want that one. I've got a video of a 9F moving. If I just, I can just drag that in. It takes I forgot it takes a little bit of time to process because it's what it's doing, it's caching the video and as you can see that's in, I can play that Ooh. Um, that's going to play music which is going to get confusing so let me just kill that, don't worry about that um. that's better, right so it's not going to be a lot of background noise. Right, so that's a 9F moving off. It goes off. And then I terminate the camera. You can see a little wobble at the end. And the next shot is probably not that one. It's going to be this one. Again, it's just going to cache it. Get it. Uh, the caching just allows it to, to preview your, your changes really, really quickly. should have remembered about this and done it earlier, but never mind. Won't take long. I want it fully cached because then it's 
easier to do the previews and while it is doing that you can change this so if you don't want such a big screen you can have it small and you've got lots of files on this side and you've also got a zoom on this side as well so this is so you can actually look into the, the footage if you like um, but I don't need to do that right now per, per clip is fine for me so this footage I've got audio back it keeps changing my audio that is not good there you go eventually I'm going to zoom this on eventually a 9F appears and um, stops underneath that coal tower and if you remember cutting the video that is the kind of intro but all this bit here we're here you can see I'm moving around the, the studio You've got lights blaring it's it's the stuff you don't want on your final clips um, so is what we need to do is edit these videos down so just stop that so with this clip selected and you're on the edit tab on the top you can do trim and then trim you can just drag this to the point you want to start so just before she moves off we'll let her sit there and she'll pull away and then we'll guess yeah we don't want several seconds of nothing so about around there so I'll pull this back so you can get an idea there I'll save the clip and I'll move on to the next clip uh, repeat the process basically now I know there we go so just before she enters the, the image I'll do her there and if we go back and <laughs> you can see I even tried to pull off my 08 moving in the same shot that failed I ultimately did it as a different shot so you can edit around your mistakes this way so the 9F pulls in and stops that'll do there so now when you play it back oh, by the way I'm using the spacebar to just play it back otherwise you've got the options just down here so you can play that and you can see it smoothly moves off we swap over to the next um, angle and she carefully moves in that in itself makes a very nice sequence once, once you've done that for all your clips and you're really happy with it um, you can go into your file and save file and here you just basically output the file to, to the format you want um, there is options to publish to things like YouTube which I believe will publish it directly to YouTube if you give it in all your details I don't do that, I always do it externally um, I was just looking if I could bring up the options on that. I've, I've purposely set my video settings to be the resolution of YouTube. So in this case, oops, go back. It's 1920 by 1080, um, which is the recommended size for YouTube on a standard resolution. If your laptop or PC can do higher res and your videos match that, you can go up to 4K. Um, but clearly I'm not doing that I just don't need to right now so that's all nice and with that you'll be able to produce some really really nice footage and edit them together really well one of the other things to watch out for less so on model railways more so when you're filming um, the real things if you like is something I do from time to time is when you swap from clip to clip and you're halfway through something on the second clip the audio will come in at a high volume and sound awful so this is what you can do again on the edit option is fade in for the audio I should say fade in and fade out so for this second clip I could make the audio just fade in at a medium rate so it fades in from nothing and it will fade in and this stops a lot of kind of sudden changes in volume which are quite frankly they're not nice to hear um, if your clip's quite short just do it fast it trust me it will help it will smooth it all out for you okay 
Next things you can do with this package is you can add a title. So you can say the start. Uh, how long is that on for? So uh, let me let me just do that again a little bit slower. So <laughs> um, on the home page you've got a few options so you can add captions, you can add a title, and the title is the whole page, so you've got um, um, uh, background which you can specify the colour of so you could have it whatever colour you like and then you've got your text which you've just seen you can modify that you can uh, reposition it however you like change how the paragraphs work and font as well um, they say it always looks a little bit more professional if you change the default font so you're not using the standard font that everybody else is using um, the choice is yours. It's, I would recommend having a style. So, I haven't done very well on Cattington. Is try and use the same font for all the um, text you use, and that way it's kind of consistent and it looks a bit more, a bit more professional that way. Um, so that's a simple intro, and you've got these options to animate it. So you can have it appear however you like. I try not to be too flashy with mine. Um, I think it's like mostly the fade in I like. It's just subtle and it's simple. I'm going to change the duration. So if this is set for seven seconds. I'm going to drop it down to three because I think that's all you need. I'm going to change my background color <laughs> to something a bit. No, let's let's go with black. Black works. Black with white text. That's fine. And then as you can see, it's a quick transition to the running video, which is fine. However, this package will allow you to do um, transitions. So with a cursor between the two, um, between each clip, you can choose the animation you want to apply, which will cross fade if you like. Um, so there's many different kind of effects you can apply and just hovering over them, it will give you a preview. The one I tend to use the most is this one over here, which is just a crossfade. It will fade the black into the next video, and if we just play that, you'll see. It's a nice transition. It's not too fancy, but it it's just smooth. Um, the next tip, and I haven't got many, <laughs> is captions. So let's get into a little bit of a video. I'm going to add a caption. I'm going to add it down here. So let's, let's do that again. So, you, again, you've got the options on the font you can use, whether or not it's bold. Maybe change how it appears. So let's do that. Um, and the size. So you can make it a bit bigger, but again, you may need to <laughs> resize the box there. And that looks good but if that appeared on a white background you wouldn't see it so another one to watch out for is these outlines you can do so you can specify the outline around the font so you can say I want a medium outline which is currently grey and then you can specify the colour so let's have black and it just gives it an outline you don't always need that a lot of people don't like it but it's an option you can have just to make it stand out if, if the background clashes Right, um, then like I say, all you'd have to do then is export your video, um, let's just call it test, <coughs> that will export it, larger videos will take a long time, so don't go into this rushing, you, it will take time but it's worth it. The, the results you can get out of this are going to be amazing. And let's just quickly replay that. Uh, kill the sound. Here. Hooray. <laughs> um, and as you can see, that is just a very nice, simple way to edit videos. Um, 
again, it's, this isn't designed for people who are already doing this. This is for people who want to do this, who just don't know where to start. Um, and kind of like what I said at the beginning, this is using Movie Maker, which is a Windows tool. Um, most PCs, maybe older PCs, will have this. More recent PCs may not have this. Okay, just to finish off. Um, like I said, not all Windows will have Movie Maker installed, and this is a, a legacy package. It's not really being supported. There's not going to be any updates for it. Um, but if you really want to download it, as I've just seen, as you've just seen in the demo, um, the, so what you'll need is Microsoft Windows Live Essentials 2020. Uh, sorry, 2012. Ten years old. Wow. No. <laughs> 11 years old. Um, as you can see, I've had to use uh, the Internet Archive to get hold of it, and it's the Movie Maker that's installed in this package, along with a few other things. Again, it, as you can see here, this is all talking about Windows 7, so it's not new. So if you really want to, I'll leave a link for this in the description, and all you have to do is come down here and right click on these 6,000 save a link as I think it should give you a zip file yeah give you a zip just download that unzip it and then install it if you wish if you don't but you still want to do some editing don't worry I'm hoping to follow this up with a new video within a few weeks of using a different editor that's also free but it's also more modern and is being up to date and it's kept up to date as well so I hope you enjoyed that if you've got any questions Pop in the comments below and thanks for watching.